Hi guys, today we'll see how you can migrate your website from WordPress.com to WordPress.org. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you started your blogging journey with WordPress.com, but now you feel that it's very restrictive in terms of features. So you want to migrate your website to WordPress.org, where you get complete freedom to customize the website the way you want. Now, if you don't know the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, then here it is. WordPress.com is a fully managed platform, which means they take care of all hosting, backups, and website maintenance. While WordPress.org is a self-hosted content management system, which you can use to build and maintain your website on your own. Now, if you create a website on WordPress.com, you'll get a free domain and hosting. And if you want to add a custom domain name to your website, you need to pay for it. While in WordPress.org, you need to get a new domain and hosting from an external platform if you want to create a new website on it. WordPress.com is a good option for beginners and bloggers, but it has a few limitations. You'll be able to do only limited customizations. And there are only few free themes which you can use. And also, you cannot upload your own themes or plugins, no matter what plan you have. On the other hand, WordPress.org gives you complete control over your website and lets you customize it in the way you want. Also, there are thousands of free WordPress themes you can use. You have complete freedom to use third-party themes and plugins. So if you want to grow your website with more flexibility and freedom, WordPress.org is the right choice. Okay. So after watching this video, you'll be able to migrate your website from .com to .org like this. And your content will remain the same. And also we'll see how you can redirect your visitors from old domain to the new domain. Okay. Now before we get into the video, I have a message for you. This video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you who purchased our courses and our super fast WordPress hosting at WebSpace Kit. You can learn more about these by clicking the link in the description, including a 10% off coupon. So let's get started. I'm Harshit from Website Learners and let's move our website from WordPress.com to WordPress.org. First, let's see the website which we are going to migrate. Here it is. Now this is the WordPress.com site which we are going to migrate to WordPress.org. You can see all their pages and content. So to move your WordPress.com site to WordPress.org site, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to get your new domain and hosting. Now as we said earlier, in WordPress.com, we'll get a free domain and hosting for our website right from there. So if you migrate our website from WordPress.com to WordPress.org, we need to get a separate domain and hosting for our website. I'm going to choose WebSpace Kit. WebSpace Kit is a super fast WordPress hosting designed by website learners. But why choose WebSpace Kit over other providers? We purchased hosting from every popular hosting provider on the market right now and hosted the same website on each host. After testing each of these websites, we could see that WSK had the fastest load time compared to all other hosting providers. And this provides SEO benefits as well so that your website will have a better chance of ranking on Google. You can see the full comparison video here. And that's why we recommend WSK. Also, we can effortlessly migrate our website to WordPress.org without affecting our website content. So to get your new domain and hosting on WebSpace Kit, just click the link below this video. And it will take you to WebSpace Kit. So this is the website where we are going to get our new domain and hosting. So scroll down. And here you can see that we have two different plans. Now, if you want to migrate one website, you can select this plan. Or if you want to migrate multiple sites, you can select this plan. As I want to migrate just one website, I am going to select this plan. Here, it will ask you to choose a domain. Now, if you go to our blog website, here you can see that we have the domain name which ends with WordPress.com. So instead of this domain name, if you want to have a professional domain name like this, we need to register a new domain name. So make sure this option is selected. Then here, enter the domain name you want. I'm going to enter blog my story and click check. As you can see, the domain name is available. So let's click continue. Now here you can choose for how long you want the hosting. You can choose any length here and as you go longer, you can see that we are getting a discount. I am going to select 12 months and click continue. Now here you can see that we are getting our domain name blogmystory.com for free and our hosting. Now both of these are valid for one year, which means once we complete this purchase, our site will be live on the internet for one year. So to get our domain and hosting, let's fill up these details. And then enter your payment details. 
now check this option and now if you click order now you can see that we have successfully placed our order now let's click here and you can see here we have successfully got our domain and hosting so once you have got your domain and hosting web space kit automatically installs wordpress and our website should be live on the internet so to check that let's open a new tab now if we type our domain name which is blogmystory.com and press enter you can see that we have a brand new website on the name which we selected now sometimes it might take a few minutes for the domain to become active on the internet so if you are not seeing this try refreshing after 5 10 minutes okay once you have got your domain and hosting next let's see how we can log in to this website so to log in to your site all you have to do is just click here and type slash wp hyphen admin after your site's address and then press enter now here you need to enter your username and password to log in to your wordpress dashboard now once your site is active you should have received the login details of wordpress in your email so let's go to our inbox as you can see we have got an email just open it As you can see we have the username and the password so let's copy this and paste it here Now let's copy the password and paste it here and then click login You can see we have successfully logged in to our WordPress dashboard and this is the place where you can control everything about your website. Okay. Once you have logged in, we can now go to step 2, which is to export your website content from wordpress.com. So to export the content, just go to your website which you have on wordpress.com. Now go here and click on it. And it will take you to your WordPress dashboard. Now go to tools and click export. Now to export your website content from here just click export all As you can see we have successfully exported the website content from wordpress.com Once you have exported the website content from wordpress.com next you need to download the content so just click download and the file will be downloaded to your computer Once you have downloaded the file we can go to final step which is to import your website content to a website So to import it first we need to install the WordPress importer on our new site only then we'll be able to import the website content to our website so to install the WordPress importer let's go to WordPress dashboard then go to tools and click import and you'll get this page now to install the WordPress importer let's click install and you can see the WordPress importer has been installed once it is installed now let's click run importer It will take you to this page. Now you can see that we have got the import option. So to import the website content, just click choose file. And this is the file which we have exported from wordpress.com. And here you can see that this file is in a zip format. Now to import the file, we need to extract this file. So to do that, right click on the file, now go to 7zip and click extract files. Then click okay. As you can see we have extracted the file now to import the website content just select it and click open now select this folder and again click open now select this file and click open again as you can see the file has been selected now click upload file and import and you will get this page Now to complete importing the content we need to assign the user and here you can see that we have two options to assign the user so if you want you can create a new user here and assign them or if you want you can also assign it to the existing user i am going to assign it to the existing user so let's click here and select the existing user then click on this box and click submit Now the exported website content will be imported to our new site. So to check that, let's go to our site which we have created on wordpress.org. 
Here you can see that we have a default page. Now if we click refresh, you can see that we have successfully got the wordpress.com content into our site. And also you can see the other pages have been imported to our site. Okay, now here you can see that we have the default theme on our site. And we didn't get the same theme which we used on our site which we had on wordpress.com. So next, let's see how we can get a new theme for our site. To get a new theme, let's go to wordpress dashboard. Then go to appearance and click themes. Now click add new. As we have a blog website, here search for trendy blogs. And you'll get different blog themes. Sometimes we cannot find the same theme which we used on the wordpress.com website. So just select the blog theme which you like. I'm going to select this. Now to see the preview of the design, click preview. And here you can see the preview of the design. Now to install this theme, let's click install. And then click activate. You can see that we have successfully installed the blog theme. Once you have installed the blog theme, the theme will be imported to our site. To check that, let's go to our site. And click refresh. You can see that we have got a new blog theme on our site. Okay, so now we have successfully migrated our website from wordpress.com to wordpress.org. But our wordpress.com website will still be active on the internet. And our visitors will still be visiting that website. So instead of letting our visitors reach our old site, if you want them to take to your new website, you need to redirect your visitors to your new website. So next, let's see how we can redirect visitors to our new website. So to do that, just go to the WordPress dashboard of your old site. Then click settings. And you'll get this page. Now here you can see that we have an option to redirect visitors to our new website. So let's click redirect here. And it will take you to this page. Now here you can see that WordPress asks you to pay this particular amount to redirect the visitors to your new website. Here you need to enter the website's URL which you have in wordpress.org. So to get the URL, let's go to that site. Copy this URL. Then go back and paste it here. Once you have done that, click go. Now here Enter these details and click continue. Then enter your card details. Then click pay. You can see that we have made the payment to redirect the visitors to our new website. Now when someone enters our old domain name and press enter. You can see that it takes them to a new website. And this is how you can redirect your visitors to your new website. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can migrate your website from wordpress.com to wordpress.org. Now let's say you have created a website from a different hosting and you want to migrate your website to a new host. You can do that easily by watching this video. Also, make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.